hello and welcome to the channel. Um, this is my first actual video. So if it's a little rocky, just bear with me. Um, so today we're gonna be talking about um, Naviance. And what Naviance is basically, it's a website that is going to help you transfer all your transcripts, letters of recommendation off to Common App to distribute to your colleges. Um, Naviance is notoriously a confusing website. I had to help a bunch of people out when we were doing Naviance, so I decided to make this video because it is a confusing website and um, I want to help you guys like navigate it as best as you can. Um, so what we're going to be talking about is how to access Naviance, how to connect it to your Common App, how to add schools that you're applying to to Naviance, how to request transcripts from Ms. Hirschfield or your college advisor, and how to request recommendations from your teachers. Disclaimer, this was made with my 2020 experience, um, which was under global pan pandemic again. So the stuff might update, it might change depending on how far along, maybe it might even change next year. Like if stuff changes or something feels off, always ask your counselor don't use this video like solely. Always ask questions if you're gonna use the ambiance because it is very confusing. And also, this is made for SLA kids. This was from my experience at Science Leadership Academy, so this video is more SLA oriented. So if you're not from SLA and you're trying to do this, I believe the steps will work the same but you never know, something might be different for your school. So always be sure to ask your counselor, your college counselor, if um, it's different because I don't want to tell you guys something and then you guys do it and then you can't get accepted to your college because you did it the SLA way, not your high school's way. I don't know, just to be safe. And with that out of the way, um, Future Izzy will take it from here. So show you how to navigate Naviance and everything and um, enjoy the video. Okay, first off, you're gonna wanna log on to the Phila SD website and that should take you into um, Infinite Campus. Um, you're gonna wanna scroll all the way down to Message Center. There you're gonna find Naviance and once you click that, you're gonna be immediately logged on to Naviance. Okay, so this is the part of the video where I would screen record and show how to connect your Common App to Naviance, but that turns out to be really hard when you've already done it, and I can't show you from my screen because I already did it. So um, I was going to just copy and paste of another video from the um, Naviance crew themselves, like they have a video explaining it, but I don't know if like there's like copyright issues or something there. So what instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys the link here. There's going to be a link here and there's going to be a link down in the description for a video how to connect your Common App to your Naviance. It's very important um, for SLA kids. Like you can't not survive without it. You need to connect your Naviance to Common App. So once you watch that video, you'll be able to do all the rest of the steps. But unless you have that done, you can't do anything. So double check that link below and you should be good. Now that you've con connected Naviance with Common App through FERPA, you're gonna wanna start adding colleges to Naviance so they can transfer into the Common App application. Um, so let's do that right now. So you wanna go to the top search bar and I'm just gonna choose a college in Florida, but you can type in whatever university you want. So let's just choose um, the Baptist College of Florida. Um, once you do that, you're gonna wanna click favorites, and then you're gonna wanna go right back up to colleges, go to colleges I'm thinking about, and you're gonna see your colleges there. You're gonna wanna select the college, go to move to application list, and you're gonna see all these options. You're gonna choose your the way you're applying, whether rolling or early or whatever, you're gonna choose how you're sending your application, and you're gonna see the option to add a request transcripts immediately, but don't choose that, and we'll talk about why later. But yeah, now you're gonna see your 
college immediately in your Colleges I'm Applying To section. Okay, now it's time to talk about how to label your colleges. This is arguably one of the most important steps because if they're not labeled correctly, your college counselor can't actually send your transcripts or letters of rec to Common App, and um, that's a really big issue. So the most important part of labeling your colleges and Naviance is making sure the submission type is accurate to how you're gonna send your, your stuff to the colleges. So these computer images I'm pointing to each represent a different kind of submission type. Um, I'm gonna pause here and give you the key of what each um, computer means and how you're gonna submit your assignments and stuff um, but the one that you do not want is a computer with a question mark if it has a question mark your teacher cannot submit all your stuff that is needed for the application so please make sure that all your computers have at least something there and if there is a question mark I'll show you how to change it so I'm going to use Columbia University as an example, so let's say I have a question mark there. I'd click edit, I would choose if I'm submitting via Common App or directly to the institution. Um, choose my application type, and then you're going to have, you're going to see that Columbia University is updated. Requesting a transcript is really simple. Um, on Naviance, all you want to do is go back to where you have your colleges that you're applying to, um, where the computers were, and you're going to want to go to request a transcript, um, and there's going to be the option for initial, um, and then you're going to want to go to that, and you're going to want to choose the colleges that you're going to. Um, really important thing, only request transcripts of colleges that are coming up, like if you're applying early action to five schools, only select those five schools and then select your regular decision. Colleges after that, like a week or two after, so Ms. Hirschfield can know which ones are early action and which ones are um, regular decision. To request a letter of recommendation, you're going to want to go to your colleges I'm applying to page and scroll all the way down. There you're going to see a link to request letters of rec. So as you see, I've sent two letters of rec already. That's what it's going to look like um, when you do. Um, your name, The teacher's name is going to be there and the status of it's going to be there. To create a new one, you're going to want to choose the teacher and you're also going to want to choose these two settings. I recommend choosing all current and future colleges because that just um, automatically updates it. So you don't have to send like 10 requests for a letter of recommendation to one single teacher. And then the final part of this is the option to give a quick reminder of your teacher what you want in your uh, letter of rec. Uh, you can do that if you want or just give them your email and tell them, hey, if you have any more questions, reach out to me. Okay, that just about explains everything. Um, I hope you guys were able to understand it. This was my first video again, so if it was like choppy or hard to understand, just let me know in the comments, ask questions. Um, but I hope that did help. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video.